Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens. Coming up next, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Baltimore Ravens taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, the Ravens have perennially been in the conversation. This year, they knock down that door, they win the AFC, and here they are in the Super Bowl. And remember, they've won in recent years. Super Bowl 35 in Tampa, Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans. What a stretch they could put together if they could claim another title here. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6 and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. The final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. They start the drive on the ground with Hill, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and that brings up third and a full 10 yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. Now inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Ravens need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. To the corner, Blitz gets him that time as he goes down for a short loss. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first place sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7 0 is our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar. We circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. On first down, Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Quick slant to Brown. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and yeah, that will bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. 
This short throw caught by Goddard. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Third and three. From the gun, it's Hurts. That is incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Ravens were led in that first half by, who else? The former MVP, Lamar Jackson. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they trail here in this Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 
Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time contact and another incomplete pass. On second down, Swift. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Tough spot here. Third down and 11. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. I know that we've seen their share of struggles and the quarterback's been hit a few times in this game, but this one can't be put on the offensive line. They gave him plenty of time to throw the football. I think ultimately he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision making and get rid of it and find an open target. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Take it in at the 22. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Forward. Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And they'll come up second and seven. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now a third and six. Throwing now is Jackson. That is caught. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. take a knee on second down a run with Dobbins and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Yeah. 
Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And it's all over. Just one is left standing, and that one is the Baltimore Ravens, your Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.